Hey, this is Kevin. This is Brett. And today's Urban Spotlight is on the skillet here in Schumacher Place. At the corner of Whittier and Beach. So we walk right in the door and there is almost no space. Like the door opens at your back. Waiting room is non-existent. The waiting room was basically a bench that was occupied by four people and it filled the entire room. The menu is uh, kind of foofy, I would say. It's got a lot of homestead, farm, grass-fed this and... Right. A lot of forage. Forage this and forage that. Crazy. They had some... Crazy drinks too, which uh, some of them I I actually like. The San Pellegrino is is good stuff. Do you think that Cafe Brosio is coffee? I don't know what else it could be. I don't know, but it has a lingering finish. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad yes. thing. <laughs> it's earthy and spicy, yet smooth. Dirt is earthy, so I don't know. Bean soup on the menu said that it was charro beans with smoked pork, goat queso, and pepitas. I don't even know what goat queso and pepitas are, but I tried it and it was pretty good. It tasted like a good smoky bean soup. I of course got the limonada because you rarely see that on the menu, but it took like 10-15 minutes to get our drink. so. Got to mark off a couple points there. Yeah, he actually brought my soup before he remembered the drinks. 18% lemon. Oh yeah, that's a lip smacker right there. And then I ordered the mac and pulled pork, which it's, it's basically mac and cheese, pulled pork, and a salad on top. But if you look at the menu, you almost need a translator. I ordered the skillet burger which was grass-fed beef served on an olive oil brioche with stinky cheese, ramp ramalad. What was, that? what was that stuff? That was some kind of cold um, potato salad that wasn't even listed on what I ordered. It tasted pretty good for a cold potato salad, um, but I mean it wasn't anything to write home about. Had it. That mac and cheese was super creamy. It was like really rich. I don't know what all the crazy stuff they put in there, the English peas and the kimbi carrots, whatever. It was good. Now what'd you think of the pulled pork? Eh, it had some fatty parts. I had to pull off a couple fatty parts, but the taste was really good. So it was a pretty strong lunch, I would say. A little bit on the pricey side for good. Yeah, the burger was good because it had an egg on it. Um, it had bacon on it, and then it was beef, and some of that salad stuff that you got on yours. So it was basically like breakfast, lunch, all in the same burger. So what'd you think? Skillet. Rustic urban food. I think the food was really good. I think the explanations for everything were way too wordy. Yeah, I think... That they were trying too hard on the menu. It was like, it was just way over the top on that. But the food was fantastic, so you, you got to give them kudos for that. Yeah, the food was awesome. Um, I'm not sure about the service. I think the service um, needed a little bit. I think he just screwed up. He recognized he screwed up and forgot our drinks. But with 20 people that fit in that restaurant, you right. would think you would not forget. <laughs> they had 25 people in that restaurant. They had right. two, at least two servers for the people in the restaurant. And right. they were working probably three or four tables a piece. And you're telling me you forget the drinks. I know. Yeah. I don't know. And it was a little on the pricey side. I, I, think, I think that was a $20 lunch, which... You know, that's not something you do every day, so... And that wasn't for both of us, that was for one of us. Yes, and that wasn't an appetizer and a glass of, you know, wine no. or a beer with it. No, it was... We asked, we asked about the soup and the salad. The soup, I think, was $4. I think the salad was like 4 or $5. And he basically told us there was enough salad on the burger and salad on the meal. Um... 
that we didn't need the salad. So, I mean, food-wise, I would say it was, you know, a 9 or a 10 out of 10. But then, you take the price in consideration and, and some of the other things, it knocks it down a couple for me. But, all, overall, a really good place, and I'll be back there, so. I would think, based on the food, I would probably give it a 7 or an 8. Um, based on the fact they forgot our drinks, I'm gonna have to You're knock so it stuck down. On that. I am. It was. It was annoying. The dude apologized. He totally forgot. He can apologize all he wants. He had a rough but it day. doesn't mean I didn't have my drink. <laughs> I mean. All right. He holds a grudge. So I'd give it like a six. Yeah. So skillet, uh, definitely uh, a, a good pick for Schumacher Place. I'd give it. I'd give it another shot, definitely. And if they got my drink order right, I might bump it up one or two. There you go. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks. Nice.